Once you've gained access to newspaper source through EBSCOhost, you'll notice that it's, its interface is strikingly similar to any other database available through EBSCOhost. That's because that single interface allows you to navigate between the databases in a familiar way. We have multiple boxes in which we can type our search terms. We can tell it where to search. And we can also, down below in our search options, narrow our results to full text, uh, publication date, and a variety of other options. These will not be scholarly resources because they're coming from newspapers. And what Newspaper Source provides is access to over 40 uh, US newspapers. It also has some selective full text to, uh, to around 400 newspapers. And then it has some transcripts from TV and radio also in the mix. You would search this just like you would any other EBSCO database for uh, topics. So let's look, uh, look up something like um, information about protests. You'll see that it has a drop down menu with some other suggested terms. And in this case, looking at protests, we have 212,026 results. Just like in the other EBSCO databases, if the article is not available in full text through EBSCOhost, you'll have a blue search all LLCC resources slash request option that will allow you to interlibrary loan the article or find it available in another database. If it is available in full text, you'll see that it says HTML uh, full text. There's a link to this result, number two. If you scroll down further, you may run across some PDF versions. A lot of newspapers, though, provide their information in HTML full text. It's just a, uh, a simple text format that they will upload to this database on a regular basis. So in this case, it says protests erupt in violence. And this is not a terribly long article, but it's a bit of a, a transcript or voiceover from an ABC News um, transcript. If you need to go back to conduct a new search or look at your result list, you have those options as well. So I can either refine my search or go back to my list of results. As you navigate within this resource, if there are items that you want to view that are only full text, you can click on full text. That 212,000 will reduce to 185,000. It's still a lot, so I normally would add in another search term. So I might put in something like uh, protests and police. This will get us into some contemporary topics that we're dealing with uh, recently. And I'm down to a much lower number. I could then again add in even more. As I find results that I'm interested in, I can add them to a folder to the right. That's sort of like adding things to a shopping cart online. Once you've done that, you can go up to the top where your typically your shopping cart would live if you're shopping online. But in this case, it says there's a folder. Go to the folder and you'll see anything that you've added to that folder will be listed here. I hope that gives some introduction to the newspaper source through EBSCOhost. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your librarians. We're always happy to help. Take care.